Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over how to mirror objects and shapes in AutoCAD. Uh, you're not going to use this too often, but it is an important function to learn. Kind of similar to what we've been going over lately. It's in the Home tab. So let's get into some tips and tricks and get into the video. Alright, so to mirror anything in AutoCAD, we have to know where the mirror button is first and foremost. So to get to the mirror function, we're going to go up to our ribbon, our top ribbon, underneath the Home tab in the Modify box you're going to have the little mirror button right here. So we're going to click that. Now, say we want to mirror this object. Basically what mirroring does is it allows you to uh, do exactly what the function says, right? You want the object to reflect on an axis. So, for example, we want to mirror this triangle. And we want to mirror it so that it's making a triangle exactly reflected against this axis right here. So I'm going to select the object. Then I'm going to click enter. Now I'm going to specify my first point for the mirror line. I'm going to go right here. And as you can see, it is mirroring directly on that axis. Okay. So once you've kind of have the mirror ready to go where you want it to the mirrored image, you're going to left click because you're done. And then it's going to ask you if you want to erase the source object. So your answer to this is going to depend on what you want to do with the original object that you're mirroring. So sometimes you want to take the mirrored object and you want the new object, but you don't want the old. So, for example, this one, we're going to say no to erase a sourced object because most of the time if you're mirroring something, you want both of them. So no. But I'm going to show you what it would look like as well if you were to erase it. So if we want to erase it, we're going to click on this, enter. We're going to mirror it again. And you can mirror it any which way, really. Uh, but if we want to erase the source object, we're going to click yes, and it erases the original object. Another example of mirroring is, you know, we can kind of select objects within each other. That way we don't have to mirror the entire thing. So right here, we're going to mirror this little bit to go on the other side. We're done. But we're going to take the center point right here. And we want to mirror it, and that's going to be our axis. So as you can see, I'm not mirroring the circle, but I'm mirroring the triangle within the circle. So you can... Uh, mirror certain objects sometimes you can mirror the full object you can mirror partial objects so it's really kind of a um, unique uh, tool to use when you need it all right so one important call out with the mirror function itself is that if you mirror something specifically with text in it depending on your settings and what you have turned on and off <clears throat> your text will mirror exactly as it appears so for this example I have a rectangle right here that is identified as a rectangle, and we're going to mirror this. So we're going to go right here, and we're going to mirror all of this. And we've got it entered. We're going to select this as the mirror point right here. And as you can see, when I bring this over, it is exactly mirrored. It is literally like looking at a mirror. Rectangle is backwards. So, for example, I don't want the rectangle to be backwards, but I want the mirror of the actual rectangle to be the same as if I were to mirror it uh, separately from the text. So we're going to erase this because there is a way to do this. And the first thing you want to do when you want to mirror text but have it uh, kind of stay in line and stay normal is you are going to go down to the command bar and we are going to type in M-I-R-R-T-E-X-T, -E mirror text. And it will pop up. We're going to go right here. So currently it is on 1. We want to change it to zero for normal. So we're going to change it to zero. And this will allow us to mirror this rectangle along with the rectangle text annotation. It will allow us to mirror it and have the rectangle flip so that rectangle is still legible and in the right um, kind of uh, you know path for writing in general. So this works specifically well when you're dealing with electrical drawings. You'll use it then, and sometimes you want to mirror just objects that are, uh, you know, called out with text, but you want the text to be legible, and you don't want that mirrored. So again, mirror text on as zero equals this mirror text on as one will have it mirror exactly the way it is. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the channel, subscribe to it. If you thought the video was helpful, give it a like down below. If you have any comments of ways to do it better or anything I missed, leave those down below as well. If you have anything you'd like to see done or any suggestions or recommendations, 
please leave those in the comments as well. I will do my best to make a video. But past that, I hope everyone has a good rest of their day, and thank you for watching.